Hey everybody, welcome to another HD DVD unboxing video and today I'm unboxing Doom, yes that is right, the um, Doom movie I think was released in 2005, I'm not 100% sure on that day so please do not quote me and it stars The Rock aka Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Dwayne Johnson. People always call him Dwayne The Rock Johnson because he's The Rock from wrestling and that's where many people know him from and now he's an action movie star. Uh, <laughs> and this was one of his movies back in the day where he even said it wasn't one of his greatest and I totally agree for basing a movie off a successful video game isn't really a good thing because sometimes it can end badly we saw mario bros do it with an actual live action show and a movie and they flopped this movie got mixed reviews i thought it was okay to a certain point most scenes didn't really make any sense and we only saw the classic doom uh, first person fighting bit towards the end and the rock in this doesn't really play the good guy normally he's the main character in his movies and he's always the good action guy who like you know, lives at the end. Uh, but in this movie, he's not. He's the bad guy. Well, technically the bad guy. He, like, plays this, like, um, commander. Like, he's in charge of his squad team. And he's not really a f friendly person. He will kill his own guys if he has to. And in the end, he gets what's coming to him. So, yeah, I really want to say he was the main focus point of this movie. But, anyhow, let's stop jibber-jabbering and get in with the video because that's all we clicked on this for so let's have a look at the contents inside right so now this is pretty fun it has the 5 for 10 logo at the top i think this is game station <laughs> which was a retailer in the uk which doesn't exist anymore but back in the day they had these fantastic deals they mostly these 2 for 10 these 5 for 20 or like 4 for 20 deals and stuff like that so they had all these different deals and all that for their products and they were great. You can, you can you can go in there trade your items. So say you traded in about five games, you can get five new games back. Probably more, depending on which bundle you went with. So they had it for movies, games, the lot. And they sold these apparently, which we didn't know at the time because I only had VHS and DVD. I didn't have Blu-ray until really, really later on in my years. So <laughs> yeah, to have this from game station is really exciting you know like really good that nostalgic vibes 3.99 each or five for ten i would have loved that deal if that was around now mate i could have got loads right let's get into this one now i don't have to use my little box cover i can just use my finger on this one because of the material that they use which is not that great to be fair but it still keeps it protected oh let's have a let's, let's just look at that one right Let's have a look at the front cover. Now that looks terrifying and I really loved the design on the front cover. Like when they went all out, they really did. They designed that superbly. So you get that nice little dark horror tone to it, that feel to it. So you know it's going to be creepy and gory and you can get behind it. The spine. And then let's have a look at the back. Now this is where things get, you know, taken out of proportion. So... We've got a nice bar description here so you guys can i'm going to zoom in and you can pause and read feel free to do so and then we have the special features listed the right beside them which is basically the basic training of the rock formation monster uh, master makers first person shooter sequence doom nation game on subtitled as per feature and that's about it you know the first person design bit there on the gun looks superb and i quite like that feature might we'll have a look inside and boom chocolate now we get presented with this the brochure inside which basically just tells you about the hd dvd experience that we knew last time and then you just turn it over to the back it tells you about a list of movies that you could buy for your collection which is the same as last one so nothing new there and it's showing doom they couldn't be bothered to put in a new brochure they put in the same brochure that features the movie we already got put something new on there we want something new we don't want to see the same movie we already got we brought this movie so we know we got it so why are you promoting it so that's that done take off the discs just want to show this off real quick look at that especially i love how they have the hdvd bit in his own separate like you know space so you can tell it apart from all the others and then we just turn it over and then we can see the the kind of deterioration so you know it's different 
And I didn't I don't know if I spoke about this last time. The case. The case is red. Yeah, they went with a red design. Which I'm I'm not complaining. You know, I think it still looks good with a red case. But it's just like why red? Okay, and I understand Blu-ray went with blue, but they went with red, which is the most opposite colour for blue, which makes any sense. If you go up against colour team, there's always a red and blue team. There's never a yellow and orange team. It's always red and blue as the actual base colours that people always choose from. So maybe they got their design from that one. Okay, so they're going blue because of Blu-ray. We're gonna go red because of HDVD. It was a good thing, okay? You know, it was good for its time, but you didn't really make it all out there. You didn't really have it so it can play on multiple systems. You just made it so it can only play on your system. You were just trying to make people buy your system. So people could play it on a Blu-ray player or their PC or any other device apart from HDV player by made by the Toshiba, they could have actually just, you know what, be like, okay, you know what? We'll do it, we'll buy it, we'll buy it. Because it's a cheaper alternative. These were cheaper than Blu-rays, that was a fact. But you had to buy the own HDVD player and nobody wanted to do that. Why would you pay 300 quid just to play a cheaper movie? You might as well buy the Blu-ray and get a better Blu-ray disc or buy a PlayStation 3 and get best of both the movie and the game. But yeah, that is Doom unboxing video for the HDVD. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you post notifications by ticking that bell icon to get rid of all the latest and I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.